admired the outside of the truck, let's get inside and check things out. The T680 already had best-in-class ingress, but we've made it even better with a greater offset to our steps. It's like climbing a few stairs up to your office. There's a lot to like once you open the door of the T680 Next Gen. We've updated the interior with new colors, including the new Madrona color. When you go to climb in, you can use this auto down feature on the seat to lower it. This makes it easier to slide on into the truck. Also, the driver's door will bounce back to make it easier for you to close the door once you're in. The 2.1 meter cab was designed to meet the needs of drivers of all heights. Take a minute to adjust your seat and steering wheel to make sure it's dialed in for you. Your mirror adjustment controls are here on the door. Now, you can't miss the new 15-inch digital display. This is a huge feature for Kenworth, so we'll cover how this works in a separate video, along with the functions of the new smart wheel. All T680s will come with the column-mounted shifter. This is how you put the truck into drive, neutral, or reverse. For trucks with an automatic transmission, you can put the truck into manual mode by pressing the button at the end of the shifter. While in manual mode, you may receive a notification to shift up or down for optimum performance. Low mode can be used anytime you want to use the lowest gear and minimize the use of the brake pedal, such as when driving on long grades or when coming to a stop. Low mode is activated by holding the shifter in the downshift position for an extended duration. Pull the shifter towards you to exit low mode. The engine brake is also controlled from the column-mounted shifter. The engine brake can help slow the truck on steep descents. There are five settings for the engine brake. Off, low, medium, high, and max. You can see what setting you have by looking at the 15-inch digital display. You can change the engine brake level by pulling the shifter up or down. Moving along the dash, we have intuitively grouped the switches, placing those you are more likely to need closer to you. We have three types of switches, standard, caged, and shielded. On the left-hand side of the dash, you have some additional switches. This truck has a floodlight switch. It also has a dash dimmer, cab dome light, and the exterior light self-test switch. On the right-hand side, you will have different switches depending on what is available on your truck. Lighting switches are located higher on the dash, including the hazards, headlight parking, marker lights for truck and trailer, and fog lights. The trailer brake is located to the right hand of the steering wheel. To use it, simply squeeze or pull down. All Kenworth trucks are standard with automatic temperature controls. The auto button will maintain the temperature at the set point. Manual mode allows you to set the airflow and air temperature. Pressing the fan button will turn on air recirculation. The mode dial will dictate where the airflow comes from. If you have a sleeper, press the button to activate sleeper HVAC as well. The max defrost will defrost the windshield. When pressed again, it will revert to your previous settings. You'll notice when you get in your Kenworth that without even going into the sleeper, there's a lot of storage space in here. Map pocket, cup holders, a full-sized glove box, and the upper storages. And to help with sun glare, you've got three separate sun blockers. There's also several power options within the cab. We have a USB port available here and the 12 volts around the cup holder. Now, I want to pop over to the passenger seat for a second. And notice, there's no doghouse and it's very easy to transition around the cab or into the sleeper. One of the great features that make the T680 the driver's truck is the option to have a swiveling passenger seat. This allows you to turn your passenger seat into a desk chair for paperwork or a dining chair. And now you're in the sleeper. We'll cover that in our next video.